happy to be here. Alrighty, um, I need us to be very, very attentive because as time goes on, I'm going to be asking some questions and I'm going to be giving us some gifts. How many people want to win my gifts today? Alright, who can tell me the title of this class or the title of this session? Tell me. Tell me. Sorry? All beats. No, that's not the title of this session. Tell me. Ah, you tried. Tell me. You don't know. Who knows? Please clap for her. What's your name? All right. Well done, everybody. All right. My name is Shola Deshaki. People call me Coach Shola. I wish I could um, display my slides. Uh, They're beautiful slides for you all. But unfortunately, we don't have, you know, a means to display. But I will, as much as possible, share the things that I have with us. So today we are talking about money skills, the ultimate guide to financial independence for children. I already introduced myself, I'm Shola Deshaki, and I'm the lead coach and founder of Smart Stewards. Come in, come in, come in. Where are they sitting, please? All right, more chairs coming. All right. All right, we'll continue. Just come in very gently. And then whilst they bring chairs in for you, just follow the class. So we are talking about money skills necessary for achieving financial independence. And I would like to break the topic. There are so many words in that, in that title. Do you agree with me? Money skills, ultimate guide, financial independence. What does that even mean? What do they all mean? Now, let's start with the term money skills. In my slides here, I said that money skills are skills you need in order to make, manage, multiply money. What did I say? Money skills are the skills you need to have in order to make, manage, multiply money. Say it again. Money skills are the skills you need to have in order to make, manage, and multiply money. So for the purpose of this class, we'll be talking about the three M's of money. Somebody say the three M's of money. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. We'll be fine. Echo it loud. The three ends of money. So I tell people there are three things to do to money. And if you want to become rich and wealthy, right. How many rich people do you know around you? Can you mention names? How many rich people do you know? Tell me. Kunlewu? Adenyoju? Adeojo. Who is Kunle Adeojo? Well done. Director of Total Nigeria, right? Toyota, Toyota, well done. Who knows another rich person or wealthy person? How many of you know Dangote? Uh uh. And you are doing as if you don't know rich people. How many of you know Ote Dola? Some of us, we have never met him, but we have heard his name in songs. Abby? Uh huh. How many other rich people do you know? Tell me, give me, let's make it interactive. Tell me. Bona Boy, okay. Davido, okay. Whiskey. Uh, you are telling me only the rich people in the music industry. I want you to tell me rich people in business. Uh huh. Sorry? Regina Daniel is an actress. I want people that are not in the art industry. Uh huh. Adeleke. Uh huh. Where is Adeleke? Davido's father. I love it. Thank you. Marshmallow. Who is Marshmallow? Is is what? Oh, is what? I can't hear you. Oh, he's a famous DJ. Fantastic. Rich people. Clap for yourselves. 
Now, everybody has done well. You have told me rich people in the music industry, in the entertainment industry, and they have just told me Elon Musk is also a rich person. Who knows Elon Musk, by the way? Who is he? He's the richest man in the world, right? He's the founder of Tesla. And just recently, he has acquired... How many people know Twitter? Elon Musk is not the owner of Twitter as of yesterday. So, let's bring it back home. The reason I asked you for examples of rich people is because I want to let you realize that these people did not just get rich by sleeping and dreaming that they will be rich and then they woke up rich. They did something. And they have continued to do something. And those things are the things I mentioned earlier on. How many of you can remember the three M's of money that I mentioned? Number one, make it. Number two, money. Number three, if you want to be rich, if you want to be like the people whose names you have mentioned, do you see? You must learn how to make money, manage money, and multiply money. And let me tell you, you are not too young to make money. Tell yourself, I'm not too young to make money. Tell yourself again, I am not too young to become wealthy. I am going to learn how to make. Say it. I'm going to learn how to manage. And I'm going to learn how to multiply money. That is the reason for this class. And I know that by the time we are done, you all will be fired up. Because I'm going to be giving you practical examples of what you can do to start to make money. How many of you know of really young people who are making money and who are rich? Tell me. Emanuela. Who is Emanuela? What does she do? She's a comedian. How old is she? 16? Okay, tell me. Yourself. Fantastic. Clap for her. We are all rich people, or do you know? Tell me. Sabu? Sorry? I can't hear you. Eh? What does he do? He does comedy shows, and he's very young, right? All around the world. How about in America, in the music industry? How about in the um, entertainment industry? Don't you see young children who act? How many of you have watched movies in which young children acted? They must have been paid for it. Do you think they did it for free? How many people have seen children who do adverts for products? How many of you? They don't do it for free. So that's one of the ways whereby you can make money. We are going to go into that. So again, don't forget that I have gifts to give and you must be attentive. When I ask questions, don't be shy. Feel free to answer my questions. So I've said again, we are learning the skills, the three M's of money. Say them again. Number one. Yay. Number two. Yay. Number three. Yay. You guys are all intelligent. Clap for yourselves. <laughs> now, before we talk about these three M's of money, what is money? Let's even start from there. No, no, don't raise your hand. I know you guys, you came prepared for me and I'm happy. But what is money? When you hear the word money, what does it mean to you? How many of you have seen money before? Everybody. How many of you have money? Uh, how many of you have money here? Here, bring it out. Let me see. Oh, wow. No, not downstairs. Here, let me see. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I'm sitting in the midst of rich people. Show me your money. Show me your money. Wow, these people are balling. Awesome. What is money? Listen to my definition of money. Are we together? One, one house, one house. Money is something everyone is willing to accept in exchange for goods and services. Money is something everyone is, accept, is willing to accept in exchange 
for goods and services. In essence, money is a medium of exchange. Can somebody borrow me their money? Yes. Give me a small sheet of paper. Borrow me your money. Where is it? All right. Thank you. And just cut a small sheet of paper for me. Brilliant. Now, I am holding these two sheets. Do you know they are both sheets? Yes. Right. If I want to give you one, which of them would you take? This one? No. This one? No. How many of you will take this one? Let me see your hand up. You are the only one. You're on your own. No. How many of you will take this one? Why will you take this one? Because, thank you, because you can take it downstairs and buy what? Popcorn, right? Soda, right? Pepsi, right? Sorry? Basically items. This is money because you can use this money in exchange for what? Goods services. Thank you very much. Right. So now that we know mon what money is, the question then is, how can we start to make money? Now, my darling friend, what's your name? Just give me one name. Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth. On what condition or under what condition will Elizabeth release that money to anybody? Who can tell me? Tell me. Thank you. What's your name? Angela. Angela. The condition under which Elizabeth will release that money is if somebody is going to give us something that she wants. Yes or yes? Yes. If Elizabeth maybe wants to take an Uber back home or she wants to buy popcorn downstairs, that is the only condition under which Elizabeth will release the money. Or do you think if I say, Elizabeth, please give me that money, will you give it to me? But on a good day, you meet me on the show and say, give me that 200, will you give it to me? But if you see something that you like, will you give them that money in exchange for that thing? Do you see? Do you understand how money works? Yes. Uh -huh. So, money, like we said, is what is used in exchange for goods and services. And don't forget that I said that for you to have money, for you to become rich and wealthy, again, you must do three things to money. Number one, Maybe. manage it Maybe. and multiply. Maybe. So the only reason I will give you money, apart from your parents, who, yeah, your parents will give you money, but the only reason outsiders will give you money is if you are providing value to them. Are you with me? Yes. So if you want to make money, you must think about it. What values can I provide? What problems can I solve? The person that is making the popcorn for Elizabeth is providing what? Value. He knows or he or she knows how to do popcorn so that Elizabeth can spend her money. If you want to make money, if you want people to give you their money, the question is, what do you know how to do? Who can tell me? Let's say I want to spend 500 naira, 1,000 naira today here. And I'm like, tell me the services. Tell me the value that you can provide. How many of you know the value that you can provide? Or how many of you have a value that you can provide? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Wait, so. Unless I call you. What can you do for me? Ah, oh, what's your name? Emmanuel has become a money doubler. <laughs> Emmanuel says he will take it and give me and give me, no, he will take my money and give me a bigger money. That's the value you can provide. What service is that? Money doubling. 
<laughs> ah, that one is not good. Oh, aha. Who wants to tell me the value that they can provide? Tell me. You can make beans for me. Beads. beads. I love it. Like this one. Do you know that I paid money for these beads? Yes. So if you can make beads for me, I will give you my money. That's how you can make money. Who wants to tell me? What can you do for me? A what? Journal. journal. Like a diary. I love to journal. That means you can get my money. What value can you provide for me? Weeks. Like this one. Yes. Oh my. These people are going to collect all my money today. What can you do for me? Slippers. Oh my God. I just changed into these shoes when I got here. I have slippers, so I will patronize you. What can you do for me? You can design clothes for me. Thank you. What can you do for me? What kind of books? Brilliant. I love it. What can you do for me? You can. Oh, wow. He can paint images and Photoshop them at the same time. What can you do for me? You can make my hair. Should I remove my wig? Because that hair needs to be made. What can you do for me? Graphics design. What can you do for me? Ah, oh, Comedian Elizabeth. Thank you. What can you do for me? You can do my makeup. Oh, wow. These people are intelligent. You, you can make drawings for me. Thank you. What can you do for me? You can help me massage my toes. Yes, I will pay for it. Have you not heard your mom say she's going for a massage? Yes, a manicure and pedicure. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You can run and oh wow, I love it. What can you do for me? Thank you. Everybody, you want to speak? So you see, tell me, what can you do for me? Oh my, I love it. I love good stories. Do you see that we all have the potentials of making money? Can you see? How many people can act here? How many people can sing? Sing like sing single, not da, 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 not that kind of singing. How many people can cook? How many people can make lemonades? You are on your way to becoming rich. Do you see? But why are we not using our talents? How many of us have had our midterm last week? So you were home for how long? A whole one. I I I wish this program was last week. Because I would have taught you what you can do in one week to make money. But it's never too late. Christmas is around the corner. Do you see? And you are going to have about four to five weeks at home. You are still at home. So this new week, you can make money. What are the things that you can do? All of those things that I have mentioned, you are going to start to do them. I remember talking to a class and there was a girl, I think she was six years old. And I taught her about making, managing, and multiplying money, just as I'm teaching you today. And she started to make lemonades. Everybody say lemonades. lemonades. In less than one month, she sold 300 bottles. How many? 300 and one bottle was 1,000 naira. How much did she make in total? 300,000. Clap for yourselves. And her mom took that money for her and kept it in a bank. If you are not making money, then you are sleeping on your talents. Some of us, we can take it. Somebody said, she, no, run, she will run errands. I know some people, on, when they are on holidays, they take care of their younger ones. And mommy will say, you know what? I'm going to give you something. So, again, don't forget what we are talking about today. One class, one class, one house. We are talking about the three M's of money, which are the three skills for you to what? Become rich. Remember all the rich people that we mentioned earlier on? The reason they are where they are today is because they have mastered the skill of making money. How do you think Dangote makes his money? 
Who can tell me? Tell me. By making cement. cement, And it sells cement to us. Remember we said, when you want to make money, you are either providing services or products. How else does Dangote make money? Pastor, how many of you, you use something from Dangote in your house? Everybody. Do you see? Sugar. Salt. salt, Spaghetti. spaghetti, spaghetti. Is that... Da- Dangote no me. B- flour, right? Yes. Do you see cement? Do you see why Dangote will continue to be rich? Because he's making products that we all must use. Again, don't say I am too small to start to make money. Angela, you are not too small to make money. Do you see? Because one day soon, you're going to grow up. You're going to be as tall as I am. You're going to be as taller, if, if I'm much taller than I am, you're going to go into university, right? Yes. And you're going to get married. And you're going to have children. You're not going to be babies forever. So these things that I am teaching you are important. So how many of you this December, you're going to go home today and go on, you're going to go and write down a list of what you're going to do to make money in December. Who is promising me? Awesome. So that next year when we come for this Akada festival, you're going to come up and say, Auntie, after you spoke to us last year, I made 500,000 Naira. How about that? What will 500,000 do for you today? If I give you 500,000 naira today, what are you going to do with it? Tell me. Buy an iPhone. Buy an iPhone. Yeah. What will you do? You travel to another country. What will you do? Invest it. What will you do? Start a business. I love it. See, we understand money already. Do you see? Some, someone said he's going to buy an iPhone. Thank you. All right. I have just a few minutes more. Now that we have talked about making money, how do we manage money? Are we together? One class. It's not enough to make money. If you make money and you don't save your money, you are going to waste the money. If you want to become rich, are you with me? You will make it, then you will manage it. How do you manage money? Number one, you save money. You don't eat or spend all the money. So they give you money for an iPhone. Oh, they give you money. If you buy an iPhone, you are not saving anything. Always learn to save from whatever money you get. Do you see? Save at least 10%. One, one class or one house. If anybody gives you 500, save at least 50 naira. Anybody gives you 1,000, save at least 100 naira. Where can you save? Piggy banks. How many of you have piggy banks? Or the bank. How many of you have bank accounts? Tell mommy to open a bank account for you. It's not difficult. So that all those monies that uncles and aunties give you, mommy is not keeping it for you. When mommy keeps it for you, mommy is spending it all. Don't say I said so. They are spent from today. Tell mommy and daddy to give you a piggy bank. Or open an account for you. But you keep your piggy bank yourself. Keep it where mommy can. No. You must hold them accountable that daddy and mommy. Somebody gave me 1,000 today, you write it somewhere. Another person gave you 5,000 tomorrow, you write it somewhere. So at the end of the year, you can say, I have 20,000. Daddy and mommy, give me my 20,000. He's not, he's not, you're not warning them. You are, you are holding them accountable. Right. He's not warning. Tell them, it's my money. You're keeping it from me. One day I'm going to collect it from you. Let's move on. How do you save? How do you save? We already mentioned it. Right. Bank account, piggy banks. How do you budget? Because budgeting is a way by which you can manage your money. You can budget by writing down the things that you need ahead of time. Do you see? Write down the things that you need. Where do you save? In a piggy bank and in a bank. The number three M is what? 
multiply money. That is how you can invest your money and how you can make your money grow bigger. And I said, how do you grow your money? How do you invest? Investing is an action you take with your money to make it grow. There are many ways you could do or you could invest your money. You can invest your money in a business. You can invest your money in stocks. And you can invest your money in real estate. Do you understand? There's no time, but when you get home, ask daddy, how can I buy stocks? A stock means you are becoming a, an owner, a part owner of a business. Let's say you buy, you become a stockholder in Dangote. With 5,000 Naira, you can buy a stock, do you see, and you become a bank owner. But let's concentrate for now on making, managing, and multiply your money. In my note here, I said, your parents can open investment account to invest on your behalf. And this money could grow to cover your future needs, like tuition, like rent, like wedding, like traveling overseas. Somebody wants to travel to another country, and so on and so How many of you have learned something today? What have you learned? Tell me. How many, are the, how many, how many, way, how many money skills do you need to have? And tell me. How can you save money? Tell me. In what way can you save money? Uh huh. Tell me. Chorus it. How can you save your money? Piggy bank. Budget money. How do you multiply your money? All right, thank you. So I want to give out two books. I don't know who am I to give. Who wants? Ah, Auntie, you are going to have to help me give these books. Maybe during the next. This is the only class, right, for this session. And is anybody coming in to teach them? Same audience. So I. It's a pack of. Um, this is a pack like this. It's a storybook and a workbook, because I have no idea. I have no idea because these, these children are too intelligent. But I hope the best of you wins it all, right? Are we okay? Yes. Or do you want me to give it out myself? Yes. Auntie, who, okay, who should we give the books to? Me. me. You see, that's why I can't give it out to everybody. All right, let's take a selfie. What do you do to money, guy? Say it again. What do you do to money? Thank you. You've been amazing. See a cradle, children's book.